What's up everybody? What's up people? How's everybody doing out there? Mount Burning Kid here back again. Hope everybody is well on their end. And I really mean that. <laughs> um feeling pretty good today. Feeling good, feeling good. Um so are you guys ready? Cuz I'm sure ready. Time for those verses as promised. My fantasy verse videos continue. 60th installment of the opinion spot back again as promised so who's the combatants like I said two of my two of my all-time favorite villains one from the Marvel Universe one from the DC Universe if you have if you don't believe me check out my video my top 10 villains of all time they're up in there so we take Lester aka Bullseye and versus Slade Wilson, aka Deathstroke the Terminator. Two highly skilled hitmen, mercenaries, whatever. You know, these guys both are badass. No question about that. But you know, it's always it's always been a question for me of like who would win in a straight up fight with these two. You know, even though one has powers and the other one doesn't officially have powers, but his skills make him almost superhuman. I I still would like to see this fight. You know, even though a lot of people I've already talked to say, "Oh, Slade would kill Bullseye," but here's how. Just think about it for a while, guys. All right. So let's start it off, shall we? We'll start off with Bullseye, you know, because, uh, let's see, his name starts with B. I'm, I'm going in alphabetical order here. Um, uh, so what we know about Bullseye, huh? Bullseye, little is known about him. I mean, we do know that he grew up in the Bronx, New York, with his brother. Grew up with an abusive father, so, you know, father was always hitting on him, so, you know, Hence, I guess you see the reaction of that, him becoming the way he is. Um, you know, he he first appeared in Daredevil 131, you know, and he was always like that quintessential bad guy for, for Daredevil, you know, other than the Kingpin, you know, you know, even though Kingpin first appeared in Spider-Man, but he was always a villain, one of Daredevil D. Matt Murdock's role gallery of villains, you know, but he's also that quintessential psychotic hitman, you know, this man can use anything lethal, anything, I mean, from a little toothpick to regular playing cards to you name it, to lethal projectiles, and I'm not just saying he can't just, he can just use throwing objects as well I mean this guy is skilled in many styles of martial arts you know close quarters combat you know it you name it but he's he's just he's just crazy and psychotic but I, that's what I love about him he is definitely definitely uh, just badass this guy does not respect authority you know he's like he gives you a big fuck you and I and and He's ready to kill somebody. He's out for blood. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 bloodthirsty. You know he he loves the pain and dishing out the pain. You know, and we see hence over the years the fights between him and Daredevil have led to him having his spinal column basically reinforced with adamantium or so. You know, no doubt about it. You know this guy is crazy, and I'm not saying crazy crazy like Joker, but he is. You know, nobody can be as crazy as Joker in my eyes, but he is basically crazy to the point, yeah, you know, almost like, <laughs> I am not saying like, oh yeah, the blood, I gotta see blood, blood, you know, blood, 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 you know, uh, but he's just like, let me kill somebody, come on, uh, don't hold me back, you know, it was always funny seeing him in the Thunderbolts, where they had to always tie him up in a straight jacket, and then Norman Osborn would say, okay, release him, and most of the guys you had to you had to fear for the, the guys releasing him as well because he might just turn around and and kill them as well 
as well, you know what I'm saying? But he is straight up 100% psychotic, 100% deadly, 100% badass. You know, no doubt about it. But his combatant is just as badass as he is, and I'm talking about Slade. Destro Terminator. Alright. So, so what, what do we know about Slade? I mean, first and foremost, you know, he first appeared in New Teen Titans number two. Okay, and he's always been like that heel to the, the Titans, you know. Oh yeah. You know, Titans are always you know but he's also been pretty much well known throughout the DC universe, you know, everybody knows him. Every DC hero knows him, you know, oh, Destro, you know, from Bruce to, to, um, Ollie to, 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 uh, Cassandra, uh, Batgirl to, uh, f former Batgirl, I should say, to, uh, Dick Grayson, period. He's been a thorn in Dick Grayson's side for years, you know what I'm saying? and but he's the one that has the powers you know what I'm saying and you know he got his bit powers basically in the military you know he's a super soldier as well you know and he has super strength agility speed uh, endurance durability he has a healing factor that has limitations and he also has that big I word let's 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 say it immortality you know and when I'm talking about healing factor he can heal from wounds but he can't heal from he can't heal like I said he has he has that healing factor has a price you know he can't heal his right eye he can't regenerate that and if if somebody is to like I don't know cut off a limb he can't regenerate that basically so and his brain capacity is crazy hence that's also another factor you know he can put can, can calculate 90 percent of his brain capacity to fighting which makes him basically the ultimate badass mercenary killing machine you know he's taken it to many heroes i've said that I've, I've, i'm i'm not denying that but everybody's saying oh this is going to be like that that i've talked to said it would be like a walk in the park for Slade. No, Slade would kill Bullseye. No problem. Not in my eyes, guys. Not in my eyes. Because, like I said before, somebody in this fight is losing a limb. Somebody's gonna bleed. Somebody's gonna leave. Leave with limbs cut off. Maybe losing eyes. Hell, Slade might lose his, his left eye. You know? <laughs> You know, might up be a blind slave, you know. Because I've said, i said it before and i said it again to many of my friends outside of YouTube. You know, oh, Bullseye's no fool. Don't don't let the psychotic, crazy man, hitman fool you. He's no fool. He knows what he's doing, you know. And the fight between these two would definitely, definitely go to the extreme. To the point where... Like I said, it's going to come down to skill. And I got plenty of messages, people saying, man, you got to cut down on the close fights, kid. You know, I, I hate when you do, the, I don't hate it, but man, you, you do a lot of close fights. But I love close fights. I love close battles where it's not just a one-sided battle where you know who's going to come out winning. I love the fights where it's definitely going to come down to skill. And in my eyes, I do see... Slade coming out the victor, but he's definitely losing something, guys. You know, and Bullseye is definitely going to look at this as enjoy. He's going to get off on this. He gets off on this kind of fights, battles like this. You know, he's probably going to look at it. Wow, this is just like me battling Bull uh, Daredevil, just more to the extreme. Because this guy's not afraid to kill. You know what I'm saying? He's willing to kill to win. And that's me. That's me to a T. You know? And that's how Bullseye thinks. Slade is a calculated 
hitman that is badass. Don't get me wrong. His his children are badass. Ravenger and Jericho, or his real name is Joseph, they're crazy and badass themselves. Ravenger was kicked off the Teen Titans because of her bloodlust. She, she, she was ready to kill, and Wonder Girl told her, you, you gotta leave. But these two mercenaries, these two hitmen, would definitely go the distance. Um, definitely, somebody's gonna bleed. I keep saying that, but somebody's gonna bleed. Somebody's gonna leave with limbs broken or sliced off. So, once again, guys, this is Mount Vernon Kid coming back to you with another Versus video saying...